Welcome back. Although the strike is over, some issues between the union and management have been left unresolved. We spoke to representatives from both sides in the negotiations to get their perspective. Jason Ramroop with the details. After five long weeks of waiting and wondering, students were once again filling the hallways at Humber this week and at 23 other colleges across the province. Many still don't know why the standoff between faculty and management lasted as long as it did. Humber Faculty Union President Bob Bolf blames the colleges negotiating for walking away from the bargaining table and forcing an early vote. The strike went to five weeks because the College Employer Council needlessly delayed it by at least two weeks, if not more. Um, the, big, the big issues really had to do with the, uh, what the College Council wanted would uh, take away from the quality of education students were receiving. Opsu, the union representing faculty and the CEC, failed to reach an agreement on a final contract. That will now be up to government appointed arbitrator to sort out. Despite knowing the impact it had on students, Wolf says the strike was ultimately for the better. You know, if you believe in a democracy and there's rights to free speech and standing up for what you want, then how does this fit into that? And, you know, there are some trade offs because, yes, students did suffer, but at the same time, the stand we're making is for a longer term good. Humber President Chris Whitaker says the negotiations may have been difficult, but still believes the council is a needed organization for Ontario colleges to prosper. We need somebody to do central bargaining, so um, I think it has served us well for, for years. And I think as a result of uh, collective bargaining where uh, uh, perhaps some people uh, felt that it didn't go uh, as well as it should have, I could hear, uh, I could see people uh, calling for uh, disbanding the College Employer Council. Perhaps the biggest change returning students will notice is the shorter school semesters. To accommodate for the time lost, Humber has revised the academic calendar, cutting down both the winter and fall semesters to 13 weeks instead of the original 15. One thing students are unaware of is that in the education business, we don't talk in terms of weeks of education, we yeah. talk in terms of learning outcomes. Media Studies Associate Dean Andrew Ainsworth says students can meet the learning outcomes if proper adjustments to the curriculum are made. So I think that the missing two weeks, it's unfortunate, but I think that faculty can adjust so that the learning outcomes are achieved or some learning outcomes might be combined or others might be deferred until another semester if they can be. Whitaker says he understands the problems the strike has caused and is prepared to assist where possible. And we're all here to support our students to make sure they're getting the best learning opportunities that they can uh, because we want them to be successful. So with five weeks lost, the school year continues. Faculty is still without a contract management is still trying to figure out how the fall and winter semesters are going to work and students most importantly are still unsure of how this all happened in the first place. I'm Jason Ramroop, Humber News. The University of Guelph Humber was also impacted by the five-week strike. However, they were able to resume a few classes with the help of some faculty from Guelph. The classes officially began October 30th and included both online and on-campus classes. Students may have been outside of the classrooms, but Humber's own journalism students kept going. The Humber Etc. and Humber News still publish. There may have been only a select few in the newsroom, but that didn't stop from keeping students updated on the latest news. Humber News Editor-in-Chief Tyson Launchlager was among those who worked. Um, it allowed us to sort of have a little bit more freedom and a little bit more control and, and cover the news that we wanted to cover. It was, um, definitely really challenging not having teachers, but it was a good challenge for us to have, uh, especially this early in our careers. Even though most of the coverage was about the strike, they also covered other daily news. Those looking for up-to-date news can go to humberetc.com, humbernews.ca. We're going to take another quick break. Still ahead, your weather update and an interview with the Dean of Media Studies. Right now, another look at how the strike has affected the students. It feels good, um, but I mean, I miss sleeping in a little bit, um, but obviously we're paying for something that we didn't get, so obviously I'm paying for it, so obviously I want to have an education and stick to that. Good. Why? Uh, because I was bored at home and, and uh, I, f I like going to school, like I'm not a person that stays at home, that's why. Hopefully they'll they'll figure something out with the condensed curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, I actually enjoy lectures. Uh, I don't 
it's hard to be motivated on your own at home. So it's it's great to be back in the in the uh, lectures and whatnot and getting.